What's up guys, it's Chuck. I wanted to just uh, give you a quick intro to this video tutorial that I recorded. Uh, it is the creation of a mouth rig in After Effects that allows you to morph between mouth shapes as opposed to using the traditional switch layers that a lot of people use for uh, lip sync in After Effects. So it's a little bit different of a setup if you're used to doing character animation in After Effects. Uh, it's similar to a tutorial I did uh, maybe last year in Moho, which I'll link to below. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know if there's anything else uh, that you want to ask about it or any future tutorials that you'd like to see me make. Thanks, guys. So this is the uh, mouth rig um, animated here for the little promo image. So you can see it, it morphs from one mouth shape to another, uh, which is what we're looking for. Uh, a lot of character animators use switch layers to um, switch between pre-illustrated mouth shapes, which is great for a lot of uh, lip syncing and stuff like that. But um, for this particular example, we want something that has uh, a little more fluid movement and allows you to create your own mouth shapes. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a new composition and we'll just go uh, you know, 1000 by 1000 is fine. It, none of this stuff really matters uh, for the sake of, of this tutorial. Um, okay, so here is our new composition and we'll just call this mouth tutorial. And I want to start off with creating a new shape layer. Now you may see me using some scripts here um, that just kind of you know, enhance my workflow, speed up certain tasks, but it's all stuff you can do right within After Effects. So uh, one example is Turbo Layers, which is a script that I love where it just has a bunch of buttons that allow you to quickly create new layers within your composition. So I'm going to click Shape there and that creates a new shape layer. You can also just come up here and go to Layer New Shape. Okay, so, um, whoops. So we're gonna go ahead and create the mouth shape on this shape layer. I got the pen tool and I'm gonna use Roto Bezier uh, just because when it comes to animation, it's nice to have, um, to not have to deal with Bezier handles, although you can do that if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so with Roto Bezier, we're just gonna go ahead and create a quick mouth shape. Something like that. And um, the cool thing about Roto Bezier is if you're familiar with Anime Studio or Moho, um, it, it's similar to the way curves work in that program in that you can hold down the Alt key here and you can click on points and drag to either crease them or curve them out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crease the corners of the mouth there. And we're gonna crease this one right in the middle too. And then this one at the bottom, we're just gonna pull out. So that's a basic mouth shape, right? Um, let's go ahead and give this a fill color. So this is gonna be the inside of the mouth here. And we'll go to like a, a dark red or something. Uh, and then we're gonna give the lips a color as well. And we'll go with kind of a red color for the lips and we'll drag out the size of the stroke to make it a little bigger, all right? So um, there's the basic mouth shape. And you can see that, um, well, I guess it, it went away. Sometimes the corners here, there it is. Sometimes the corners here uh, get um, a little sharp for my taste. Um, you can adjust that. Again, I have another script, but this is something you can easily do within uh, After Effects. Uh, butt capper is a really cool script and you can change um, whether the ends of the lines the the line caps are rounded or squared or whatever and if you hold alt you can change how the uh, join style at different points joins together so I'm gonna hold alt and click on the round one and you can see how that rounds out the corners there and it's just personal taste doesn't really matter all right so let's rename this layer uh, mouth base Good enough. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and create a new shape layer and we're going to do uh, the top row of teeth. Now I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly, so it's not gonna be quite as, as pretty, if you could call it pretty, uh, as the example uh, that I did. 
but it's going to show you the steps that you need to take, um, which is which is all you really need. So I'm going to create a box here, and this is going to be for the gum line. So let's give that a nice pink color for the gums. And on that same layer, let's rename it to teeth top. All right, so on that same layer, we're going to go ahead and create some teeth. So I'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool. And I'm going to use the scroll wheel here to kind of give it a little bit less rounding. And there we go. We got our first tooth. Let's change the color to white. And what we can do is we can go ahead and duplicate that layer and mess with the scaling and all that stuff to give ourselves a top row of teeth. And I, I said duplicate the layer but we're actually duplicating the shapes within that shape layer. So uh, rectangle one is the gum line, then all these other ones are the teeth, and you can rename those if you want. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is for now so we can get through this tutorial quickly. Getting used to a new mouse here, so my mouse mo movements aren't that fluid, but um, all right, so let's just say that that's good enough for now uh, to set up the rig. Looks fine. All right, so we got a bunch of teeth on the top, um, in order to speed this up, let's just duplicate that layer and we'll call this teeth bottom. And we're going to, you know what, I don't even want to rotate it like that. Let's go ahead and we'll just take the layers here and we're going to move all this stuff down to the bottom. And we're going to resize some of these teeth to make them look a little bit smaller like bottom teeth actually would be. Actually, let's delete all those layers and we'll just duplicate this guy a few times. And we'll call that good enough for, for our purposes here. So we have teeth top, teeth bottom, and um, we'll, we'll worry about a tongue later, okay? So uh, what we can do now is, this is where uh, masking um, is similar to how you would approach it in Moho, but it's you go through a little bit different of a method here, some different steps. So with the mouth base layer, we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna say copy with property links. This is a really cool feature that they introduced, I think in the first uh, Creative Cloud update, which allows you to make a copy of a shape layer or any other layer for that matter and link certain properties of it. So we clicked copy with property links and now we just have to control V to paste that, right? So now we have this shape layer right here at the top, mouth base two. And what's cool about it is if we go down to mouth base one and we alter the shape of mouth base one, Mouth base two follows along. So I'm not even altering mouth base two right now directly. I'm just altering the first mouth shape. So the reason that that's cool is because we can uh, go to our teeth layers and we can set up a track mat. So we can go to track mat and click alpha. So we have an alpha mat. So that's the bottom layer of teeth. And let's duplicate that mouth base two so we have mouth base three now, and we're gonna set up a track mat with the top layer of teeth as well, alpha mat, okay? So you can see that uh, we have a little bit of a problem in that the lips are not covering up the, uh, the, the teeth and the gums in this mouth. Well, that's a really easy fix. What we can do is we just duplicate this mouth base two or mouth base three, either one of the ones that have the property links. So control D to duplicate that. We'll turn on the visibility because the visibility automatically gets turned off when you use it as an alpha mat. So we'll turn the visibility back on and we'll just call this one lips. And we can go to contents, shape, or we can use this search bar and we can just type in fill in that search bar and it'll come up right there. So contents, shape, fill, and we just turn off that fill. So now we have a layer with lips that are over top of the teeth and gums inside of the mouth. So again, 
the property links thing is really cool because we can go ahead and we can lock all of these layers and we can just go to the uh, base shape of the mouth base and just alter the shape of that mouth. And again, keep in mind, you can go ahead and alt click to change the creasing on those points so you can get different mouth shapes. So that's pretty cool. And then for my rig, what I also did in addition to this was I took the teeth layers, so we'll unlock teeth top and teeth bottom, and we're going to create a couple of nulls. So we have a null down here for teeth bottom, and we'll duplicate that, and we'll put a null up here for teeth top. So we'll say top null, you can name these whatever you want, whatever works best for you, uh, and we'll call this bottom null. And what we're going to do is we're going to parent the top teeth to the top null, and then we can lock that art layer, and the bottom teeth to the bottom null, and we'll lock that art layer. So now we only have three layers that we're dealing with, and these control the top teeth, so you can move those up and down independently, and the bottom teeth you can move up and down independently, and then again, you can still make that mouth shape and everything maintains the alpha mats and masking perfectly. So uh, as you can imagine, adding a tongue on top of this is very simple. It's the, the same concepts. So we'll add a shape layer. Whoops, we'll call that shape layer tongue. And we will draw a quick tongue shape. Again, I'm using Roto Bezier, but you can use regular Bezier if you like, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll just give this uh, a nice deep red color, and we're going to put that behind all the teeth, and we're going to duplicate one of these property link copies and we're going to create an alpha mat just like with everything else and then the tongue again you can if you want to you can create a null call this tongue null and you can give it a different color there if you want and you can parent the tongue to that tongue null and now you can independently move that tongue. And of course, because this is all shape layers, you can adjust and keyframe the uh, path. So uh, the way this works in animation is if we go to the mouth base, we have shape one, which is, which is just the, sh the, the path defining the shape, and we can keyframe the path. So let's zoom in here and let's say, you know, over six seconds or six frames, the, uh, mouth shape changes to this and we can also keyframe the position on all of these nulls so over six frames the mouth shape changes and let's say the teeth change position and whoops and the tongue changes position so just like that, you could see how easy it is to animate this rig. Now, there there may be you know more complex setups that allow you to do more, uh, but this is a pretty simple, basic setup uh, that'll work for a lot of a lot of different types of character animation. And obviously, you can go in and make the art layers, uh, like the teeth and stuff, look a lot nicer. Uh, but for a quick example, this is how you rig it up. So that is the quick After Effects mouth rig tutorial. Again, I'll have a link to my old Anime Studio slash Moho mouth rig tutorial, which shows some similar concepts, but you uh, do have a little more control in how that one works. But um, that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first tutorial. I have ideas for many more. Let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you wanna see. If you wanna see more Moho stuff or more After Effects stuff, or how to set up specific rigs or whatever. Just let me know if there's anything you want to see. If I can do it, I will. All right, uh, this was Chuck from MotionDisciple.com. Thanks again, guys. Bye.